Hello my dear students. Today I am going to do a very important lesson. Listen very carefully and guess the lesson. Uh, my hometown is Kurnagar. Do you like to go to school? Wow! Right? Now I have told you some words and also some sentences. Oh, can you guess the lesson? Now, in spoken English, we cannot see these marks. Now, what is the lesson? Today, we are going to learn punctuation marks. In the written language, you have to use these punctuation marks. Punctuation marks. Right. Now what is the meaning of punctuation? Punctuation means virama lakum. Now do you know punctuation marks? Now in spoken English we cannot use punctuation marks but in written language you have to use punctuation marks. If you, you don't use those punctuation marks correctly, what would happen? You will reduce marks. That is the punishment you are given when you lose those punctuation marks. So, you have to learn this lesson very carefully and what should you do is, you have to use all the punctuation marks when you write something, right? punctuation marks marks definitely right? So, uh, in all of the exam also, there is a criteria for this criteria. can mean all of the exam mechanics of writing here. can mean with the capital letters capitalization punctuation marks writing questions if you do not use punctuation marks correctly, you will lose marks at the exam. Right? So keep that in your mind when using punctuation marks and when you write something, definitely you have to write use punctuation marks. This lesson will help you for that. Ekar udawa pili ro tamai apni adha paadam karani livi ne di thama ke lakunu kya daagano ne thava khamaya lakunu thama laba gano ne thava vidhya tamai kira deni punctuation marks hariye the use karani wala ke lakunu ready hai right now uh, this is just like a family hariye ne make a family ka kori punctuation family. Uh, what are the members in this family making the members that are not? Do you know? Right? Uh, first one is full stop. Now you, it is very small, right? Although it is small, but right? It brings a great harm. Make a chute or not a loku, but a make a use karena the marks are doing one, right? Then uh, next one is karma. Another punctuation mark is comma. I'll write uh, in big size, right? Comma. Next punctuation mark is now you know this mark we call that exclamation mark. We call this exclamation mark, right? Next one, uh, this mark. Now you know the two dots. Dots they cut there on it. What is that called? Uh, colon. Right? Colon. And next one, I'll draw here. Comma. Uh, full stop. And also a comma. Titan. Comma. We call that semicolon. Semicolon. Now this is comma. Uh, this is called exclamation mark. Now, 
and um, this is very easy you know full stop right full stop and there is another one we call that dash right dash up here kitty rock for the and dash and there is another one similar to this another mark make a summer if up there on we call that hyphen we call that hyphen right so these are the exclamation marks that I am going to teach you today. Uh, and also another one is that it is called uh, this one apostrophe. Uding kama hai kap dharmi apostrophe. It is called apostrophe. Uding kama hai kap dharmi. Api short kara di I will, I'll, right? Now those are the punctuation marks and I, I forgot that another one. Uh, you learn this. Uding hat haya vage dala, yati manuna me vage dala nil. We call that quotation mark. Quotation mark. Uddrut ki rakhi ani singhale. Right? Quotation marks, right? So, those are the things that I am going to teach you today. And, ah, sorry, another one. Sorry, I come to you Question mark. This is very easy. Question mark. Right. Now, you see, all these are punctuation marks. Now, uh, you can use some punctuation marks very clearly. Right? Now, you know the... the uh, mark this right that you can use in a sentence right how can you use this mark in a sentence but sometimes uh, it is not familiar to you uh, some question uh, punctuation marks are not familiar to you like uh, example uh, colon semicolon sometimes comma and hyphen dash uh, sometimes quotation marks see? Eva gave up with a hurry to use Karan Matter. Hurry to have it done in a house. Full stop now done on a question mark. A big one to familiar, right? Now, lesson one by one. Now, after I am doing this lesson, you have to use these fun question marks correctly, right? Now, first we will learn the easiest one. Full stop. First one is full stop. Now, why do you use full stop? Now, very easy. Uh, you can use a full stop if you want to end a sentence, right? Sentence full stop down. Now, the example I'm uh, teaching English or we are learning English. We are learning English. Now you have to use a uh, full stop. Right? Now, this is the first one. In your, you have to write this in your grammar book. Right? Write the first one. Full stop. Uh, I will write here. And write this to end or to end a sentence. Use to end a sentence. Use full stop is used to end a sentence. Right now, ex except questions, questions error. At the other, at the hurry, at the hurry, prashna error. Sentence ek ab avasan karani. Right now, can you form uh, three four sentences? Right under this, you have to form three four sentences. Now let's learn the C 
सर्कल यूज ऑफ फुल स्टॉप और नापी रैंक फुल स्टॉप एक देवने यूज से करता है ये क्या नाम है यार राइट नाउ हियर दिस इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट मेक अप हरी वा वेदर का व्हाट इज दैट फुल स्टॉप इज यूज्ड फॉर एब्रिविएशंस आल्सो नाउ डू यू नो एब्रिविएशंस एब्रिविएशंस के ने करा ना नहीं एब्रिविएशंस मींस कैटी ये दो कैटी कर ला दाना ना ओन दे आ आप ही एक एब्रिविएशन एक आप किया ला थी राइट फॉर एन एग्जांपल यू कैन यूज दिस एब्रिविएशन फॉर्म ऑफ दिस यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका वी कॉल इट यू एस ए यूनाइटेड किंगडम यू के लाइक दैट यू कैन एब्रिविएट शॉर्ट करा दो पूरा मिस्टर एम आर पुल स्टॉप बट लाइक दैट यू कैन यूज नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट यूज ऑफ पुल स्टॉप सेकंड वन यूज इज व्हाट इज द सेकंड यूज आफ्टर एब्रिविएशंस फॉर टाइटल्स टाइटल्स मींस आप ही क्या ना टाइटल का क्या ने कैन एक भी आप ही क्या ना प्राइम मिनिस्टर या मैं किसी थाने तो रखती हूँ थाना तो रोगे टापे टाइटल की हो आह और नेम नाम मुकाब खाली के जी कराना ना नाम सरनेम में का कपड़े का दिखने सरनेम या भी नाम लिया दिया भी सरनेम में कितने रानी तेरे वाला शॉर्ट करना लाइक लाइक यू आर एस सरनेम में लाप ना राइट नेम में का आह ओ यू कैन एब्रिविएट डिग्री आल्सो ए वाले में डिग्री का बी ए बैचलर � एक तो तो बोले खुद के लिए कि थर्ड तो ना खुद के लिए कि नाम आ याम किसी डिग्री का कैटी कर रहा है यूज़ करना ना लिए ना ना आप इधर एब्रिविएशन फॉर्म में का यूज़ कराना ना पूरा नाउ दैट इस द सेकंड यूज़ ऑफ पुल स्टॉप फ्राइ दिस आफ्टर एब्रिविएशंस After abbreviations for titles, uh, names, and degrees. Right. Now let's uh, take about talk about title. Tantra. Now P M. P M stand for what is that? Prime Minister. What the method? Up in PM here. Prime Minister. Right? P dot M dot. You have to use the here full stop. P full stop. M full stop. Prime Minister. We the made the character with the way of the short curve. Right? Next one. Uh, names. Now, example, the names of people. Now, I'll take my name. My name is M. Full dot. Full stop. M. Full stop. N. You have to use full stop here. Make a sound M M N. Capital M. Mapa. M M N. Mapa. Right now, you can abbreviate a name. नाम उसको आप इधर abbreviate कराने पूरा short कराने clear right next one we will take a degree now bachelor of arts आप इसके ये ना degree का नाम है B A C के लाती है ना इस्लाम की लगा ना degree bachelor bachelor of arts in singular we call that शास्त्र वेदी सिंगलिंग आप इसके ये ना शास्त्र वेदी बैचलर ऑफ आर्ट्स बीए एंड आल्सो एमए मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स एमए एक अर्थ के ना मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स इन सिंगल मतलब वी कॉल दैट शास्त्र पति नेक्स्ट यहाँ हम एग्जाम में कर P H P capital H simple dot B P H D uh, in single English it is called Doctor of Philosophy. Darshan Shuri Kela, Doctor of Philosophy. 
third one is as decimal point you can use this full stop right now those are the uses of full stop now let's talk about the next uh, pun question ma next uh, member of the pun question family what is that it is question mark that is very easy now you know how to uh, use that I, it's not needed to teach you also uh, i don't need to teach you well to gana na thore na ite second one question mark right now this is a question we use a question mark after a question right if it is a question we use a question mark prashna anna okay question mark ekka gana now example are you listening to me agana de inne are you listening to me question mark you have to use a question mark are you listening to me right like that uh, to end a use to end a direct question have i any question ekak nemey kelimna ahana nam prashnayak wakkara gahan wadan api question mark ganna indirect speech kiyala thiyena wakkara kathane di eke use karanna average kathane di vitara use karanna to ask if, if you want to ask a direct question you can use this question mark right now we have learned about the second uh, pun question mark second member of uh, about about the second member of pun question marks who is that person it is he is question mark now let's talk about the third one Next one is it is also very familiar. Third one, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Right? What is exclamation mark? Other you have done already. Vishwanath Pandey. Why do you use um, an exclamation mark? What is the reason? Now, if you want to show some strong feelings like uh, uh, happy, anger, uh, like that, happy day, tarahane ka, sapoot, duk, sadness, right? Eva eva prakash karana na. We use this exclamation mark. Example, wow, happy day, my kya exclamation, right? Devi ne. Oh my God! Oh, you can use oh, right? Like that, you can use uh, this exclamation mark. What shall I put them under? How wonderful! How wonderful! Now we have learned uh, about these exclamation marks in spoken English also. आप इस पॉगन इंग्लिश वाला एक्सप्लेनेशन मार्क्स इगन इगन तीनों आम आते का इन्हें दे राइट आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड माय गॉड गुड ग्रेशियस राइट लाइक दैट यू कैन यूज राइट नाउ दिस इज द थर्ड मेंबर ऑफ द पंक्वेशन फैमिली व्हिच इज दैट एक्सप्लेनेशन मार्क नाउ लेट्स लर्न द अबाउट द नेक्स्ट मेंबर ही Fourth one. Fourth. Now this uh, member is um, you are, it is familiar, but not for I think or for all instances. Mummy, it all am galami hamma avastha vakka meya dinam dalni ne. Koma. Koma. Now why do you use a comma? Comma what done? I yes. Normally we use a comma uh, to separate same ideas um, or same uh, things. Ekka ma dey apgan apikata karna na ni kyan 
uh, go dark party, same things. Like example, you go to uh, a shop and you want to buy some goods. Kadai uh, dhira badu ganda wana dal, onion, soap. Ekkama varge go dark tiri wana ekkama varge go dark tiri wana ekkama Right, but for the last one you have to use and have a Avasani ki di ap kama dhanne and kama dhanne, right? Uh, to separate same things you can use to separate same things ekkama deval venkara gandha ap ite use karan puna kama, right? Now example, I want I want uh, apples, bananas, uh, good apple. Right? Now there is another uh, fruit we have to use. And don't use kama. Api kama dan ne tanidi. And gala. You have got the one of oranges. Right? You must use simple, simple letters. Now, uh, to separate uh, same thing, right? You, have, you can use this, what is that? Comma. Next instance that you can use this comma is for this, to separate same ideas. Now, adhas ekkama ekkama adhas again to separate ideas. Adhas the no na ekkava give kind and happy like that. You can use my friend is a kind, kama honest and uh, an attractive uh, student like that. You can use right. Next one is. To separate, same to separate ideas. My friend is a kind, uh, honest. Right? So, uh, this is another instance that you can use Kama. Right? Now, this is the second one. Earlier, we talked about uh, to separate things you can use. And the other one is to separate uh, ideas you can use Kama. Next, let's learn about the next one. Right? That is... Uh, now, next one is to separate words. And also phrases. Phrases, what is a phrase? Vaki kandani vachana vitakni. Api salavinkani vachanani. Vaki kand phrases. And clauses also. Kriyapadyak side vaki kand. And a pair of words in a sentence. Vachana, vachana septi in Right? Now that is the next instance that you can use come. Right. Now write down the third instance uh, to separate words, phrases, and clauses. Clauses and pairs of words, words in a sentence.
words in a sentence. Now for an example, right? Example, you see, uh, the rose and the lily. Rose are lily. The violet and uh, jasmine. Come on, I love them all. Me hammer maratam. Mama Boda can be one phrase as well. Examples the rose and the lily. Come on, but I'm a phrase that I'm watching somewhere. I'm not watching anything, I'm watching somewhere. The Uh, sunflower and the jasmine the sunflower and the jasmine come on I love them all now you see phrases right you have to use a comma right now that is the next instance to separate where phrases, clauses and also uh, clauses and words you, and also pairs of words you can use this comma. Next instance, how we talk kamai? To mark off a direct quotation. What is that? To mark off a direct quotation. Direct quotation is what you now earlier I told you quotations can have a keyword. Uh, what is a quotation? Quotation means quotation is a keyword. Can you tell me what is a keyword? Quotation is a keyword. Can you tell me what is a keyword? Can you tell me what is a keyword? Like this. He says Kama He says Kama I'm happy. Now you have to use a quick quotation mark. I'm happy. Ayami kia pudea. Mama sakutin kia la kiwa. Direct quotation ni kakyan. Kelim na kia pu. Ukuta gani ima kati. Apte use kalandona. Ea kiwa kiwana. Here you have to use a thumb. Right? Next one is. Uh, to mark off a direct quick quotation. To mark off a direct mark off kya ne pen na kya na dasa direct quotation. Right. Next one. Another instance that now there are a lot of instances but up to you know at the round of the killer and the very that right come on you gonna got the time at the time on the bar shower reach him right you can enrich your language if you learn more and more next one is to separate the words yes and no yes here it I know here it I eat that I watch me on and make a way for a lot that fund up it and make a use current pull up now example yes I'm a Korean yes come on I'm never remember no I'm not no come on I'm not now like that you can use next instance is to separate the words yes and no Yes and no. Yes, can I carry? No, can I carry? Bring her back on the wings. Now, examples. Yes, I have four mother. No, I mean, no, he is smart. No, come on. He is smart. Now, you have to use. A comma here, right? Now, what is the instance to separate the words yes and no? You can use comma. Now, let's learn the next instance 
to separate months and the year and the dates and the year, right? Uh, months. Masa, Aurudu, Dina, Venkara Dakwanda, Abhita use Karanda Pulva. Right, for example, uh, 22nd May, 2021. Abhi Vikurti Masa, Dina, Eva Venkara Dakwanda, Pama Dana. Right, next instance is that to separate the month. Month and the year and the date and the year. Uh, Fifteenth May. Now you know how you have to use uh, months, a uh, capital letter, months and days of week, sati, dina, masa, me or comma capital dan on capital letter, me, comma, 2021. On the burn, our thing, masi, venkar, laganda, apidu, pura, use term, right? Seven instances this. Uh, now, me, me, 15th, come on, 2021, right, like that you can use. Now, that is the instance to separate the months and the year and the date and the year, right, month, month and the year, can you, month, month and the year, can the year, can the year, now let's talk about the next instance, right? Now you can use this comma in a letter just after a salutation and at the end just before the signature. Now do you know salutations? Abhi salutations da noni, salutations ki alne, aamantra ne karane, beers, comma. Right? Emanatta. Oh, just after, uh, just before the signature. Asankaran Kalim Hapakiya Kirani. You are faithfully, Kama. You are sincerely, Kama. Anneva Gyavastavati. You can hear, you can use this, Kama. Right? In a letter, just after the salutation. And at the end, just before the signature, right now, example, dear sir, salutation, Dear sir, come on, right? Next, uh, you are faithfully. Come on, like that you can use, right? Now, let's learn the next instance now. You haven't learned this before, right? Right, you have to keep that in your mind. Right, I teach you not to fill your book for the Right, when you use this, you when you write, you have to use these punctuation marks correctly. Then you will get more marks and you will write clearly. Right, from the last Sunday, you know. Um, accurately, 
clearly actually accurately neither the will and happy way next one uh here you can use this comma to separate separate expressions like of course uh, however to of course yani satta kim komona kira vachana dali api komona singer in ka navathana ne komona kya comma but in written you have to use a comma right in fact in fact yani satya vashayenma right next one is to separate expressions like of course to however comma in fact etc we will be watching this right example in fact now i'll teach you the meaning of these words uh, you know of course satyavashin so you know however for common in fact satyavashin in fact uh, i am very happy at the moment hari ma satya do you right in fact i am very happy because we don't have schools and you know that right like that you can use in fact Come on, I'm very happy. Next, uh, uh, of course, of course, you can. Uh, now, someone asks uh, a pen from Yalmiya. Can you please give me a pen? You see, of course, you may. Oh, what the hell are you going to put up? Right? Of course, you can take like that. You can use right. Uh, next one, of course, uh, you can take. Right. Next, next uh, usage is next use of comma. Now you see the function of comma. Comma I can use for many things for charity and all. So the next one is to separate question tags. So what is a question tag? Question tag is a kind of thing. After question, I know I need to kill him. Well, in single, well, I know I know I need to kill him. Well, I call the animal need. I need him. After that, I know I need to ask question. Instance that you can use 
we talked about quotations can be cut up and quotation marks used to be he said come on I'm hungry and they were going to start up a bit and use the on the pull on push and come on right now these are the instances that you can use come on now let's talk about the fifth one fifth member of the fun patient family who is that person how they may have Yes, we will check semicolon. Semicolon. Now, semicolon means dot and a comma, dot and a comma. Semicolon. Now, why do you use a semicolon? And you have a semicolon in the kakiyan. To separate the ideas of the same group. Now, it denotes a greater pause than that of a comma. Then, comma I can't forget any me. Go down the digger. Digger walk here. Here I can pause the very walk here. Me. Now, after that, digger. Now, I can use karma. Sometimes, now here, first instance, a key part of your style of mind to separate parts of the sentence which have already been separated by the comma. Right? Now, uh, come on, I can help you separate the like, can you remember? I uh, bought uh, sugar, uh, dal, a way to come on, what is separate? It's good to go to a or a good day, how much they are wealthy in one another. I thought it is separate from one another. A hurry to make comma, we look out, right? Look out for separate from one another. A be used to run in the semicolon. Example. I know uh, this about him. Mama, yeah, again, done. You have to use semicolon. His first name, comma, second name. He is my friend. Then me, body, our star, the api, comma, done. Daddy, you make a bank, what is the fun patient mark that you have to use? You have to use a semicolon, right? To separate parts of the sentence, to separate parts of the sentence, which have already been separated by a comma. Kama ikin vengkala dakkala dhanatama kthiyanwa. Thawat tapita vaakke ayat sepa vengkala dakkala dhanatama. Ola na use kama. The sentence which have already been separated by a comma. Right? Now, I know this about him. I know this about him. One thing I like, comma, I could tell you what you have to do. Now, me, I look at the camera. You can tell me what you have to do. Call me. I know about, uh, I know this about him. Come on, yeah, get that number one. First name, first his name, name, on top of that name, I think on it, would have the same color than the no, you have to use a comma, right? And secondly, he is my friend. Secondly, he is my friend. Right? Okay. Now I hope you can understand. Next one is that next instance that you use, you can use semicolon is this. To separate pairs of words. Then watch a little samani watch and a comma dala. Use can no winker money. Right? I need uh, uh, what? Yellow, comma, red, 
Come on, blue. Like that you can use. Now, examples. There are pairs of words. What should I do? I mean, jolly jolly. Red and blue. Ekka wagi. Lai lai ki waam. Dekha ki waam. Dai dai ki waam. Ekka wagi wachan ki waam. Dekha dekha ki waam. Ette pada mukadu veenne. You can use in that instance semi-card. Right? Semi-card and dala use ka waam da kul waam. To separate pairs of words, watch an adjourn. Lie. Now, what is the meaning of lie? Lie means here, what is it? What is that lie? Lie means borki ano, mete na vete ano, mete na borki. On eka wagi wacha dia kapi use me kama bari inventor. Then kapi na tiyano thava wacha na sette ka. So you have to use the same me call and right. Die die b y e die. Kama D I E Dai Karana Mithana Marina Mani Dai Dai Semi Colon Call Pillar Call This All Mulu Right so I think you can understand Me Kama Vani Me Nkara Gwachan I Kwe Nkara Gwachan I Kama Gwachan You can't use the Vain Kama You have to use a Semi Colon Right Now this is the next use of Semi Colon We have learned Two instances where you can use this semicolon. Now let's learn the next one. Six one colon. Colon. What is colon? Dot the capitin on it. That is called colon. Now colon is used. To show a still longer pause, we can digger never to make up with Dana or Nam, a big call and done, right? And it is you the either either to introduce a quotation or speech. We share shame, quotation, a cup we can. Who put out the key, not the Kata, uh, a big introduce color in one, a hollow in one, use color this quotation mark, right? Now, next one, it shows a still longer, a still longer pause, P A U S E, pause, and is used either. To introduce a quotation or speech, right? Now, example: Teacher said, uh, "Even expects." Now, teacher, we will take another person. Teacher, can I put Winston Churchill? Now, have you heard about Churchill? Alati Rani. Churchill said, England expect every man to do his duty. Engalante, Hamaminyama game, Balapurukuna, Oge duty, the Rapid Karai Kila. Now, Winston Churchill, he said, Yakira Tina made them write the ruler. Ruler Kiani Palaki Churchill said England said now you have to use a semicolon. Why do you use a semicolon? Uh, because it is a question or it is a speech, uh, something, some type of some type of a speech, right? So you have to do that. Uh, now here you have to use um, 
Don't use quotation marks. England expect expect means balaprut. You know, England expects every man to do his duty. Right. Next one. Now we have learned about semicolon. Let's talk about the dash. What is that? Dash. Now you know dash. Dash means keti gira to the you know dash it up here. Why do we use a dash? Now six seven. Dash. It is used before or after a list. List ka ekko kapi me. List ka kapi na. Ek na pera ho kasu. Kathari use kalan na pula list ka kapi na mati me. Me 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 mo. Right example. I have two cups, coffee and cocoa. Right. Two cups. What are cups? Four cups. Kapi is na kyan ka u the. Right. Uh, I have two puffs, uh, brown and uh, brown, like that you can use, right? Used before or after a list. Example. I have uh, I have two colors. What are colors they got there? What are those two colors? Red and blue. Clear. So you have to use dash here and it now is starting up with a list a couple of it what up they were going to be on the team on and dash is right now let's talk about another example Jim and Jerry dash both were from Mumbai Jim Jerry they were called the Mumbai very happy that he is We will check on Ruani and Rani. Right? Ruani and Rani. You have to use a dash. Right? Both came from. Both are from Sri Lanka. Clear stride. So you have to use a dash there. Now another example is not right. Now let me not wrong at the end. Next one is to mark a break in a sentence. Sentence in kapoda break it up. He can never team up. Do you never team up in your sentence? Kya bani abhi kya ni never team up the under abhi use karna right to mark a break in a sentence. To mark a break in a sentence, right? To mark a break in a sentence. Now, examples. She wanted nothing more than peace. Dash, but even that could not be given to her. She wanted nothing more than peace. Ya to ona ni saame ona wat ni mi. But even that could not be given to you. Eka eata de ila bari guna. Right. Examples. She wanted nothing more than peace. More than peace. 
डैश पांच इवन दैट कुड बी कुड नॉट बी गिवन टू हर Right now, you see, this is a long sentence. Right to mark a break, you can use this dash. It will be bigger sentence. It can critical. Okay, it will be bigger sentence. It can break. It can come out. You have to use a dash. Right. Next instant. Next uh, uh, member of the conversation family is who is that? It is hyphen. Eight member is hyphen. Just like a dash, it is just like the dash dash at the wagi mai, but uh, there is slight different. It is half of dash dash. It is what a bag ya koi choti rakna ma bhi na. Not a big size, a long one. Chot dash ke the wada kati rakna hyphen, right? Now hyphen is uh, used uh, half the length of a dash, and it is used for. Compound nouns only for compound compound nouns you can use this dash. Compound nouns are the dash used there. For an example, mother dash in dash law, brother in law. Who is mother in law? Nanda, right? Brother in law, right? Like that you can use mother. Before that, for compound nouns. Compound words. Now, what is a compound word? Compound can be watched as the character of a character. Had then a watched as a topic. You know, compound word the character. Right? Now, mother dash in dash law. Mother in law. Right now, here in law means meeting. Meeting. I'm again and again. Right? Uh, out of town, how much we get it? Out dash of dash town. Out of town. Right. Now this is about hyphen. Now let's talk about the next one. That is quotation mark. What is a quotation mark? Now you know this is very familiar. Now uh, quotation mark means udrutane. Now, if you want to tell, if you want to tell something, uh, you have to use quotation mark, direct quotation. Kelly, you have to use quotation mark. Use the wrong one. Ninth. 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 Now here you have to use like what I earlier I told you. Had the Maya Yanu na mere ba bini apni use kara me. Use to enclose a quotation for a quotation. For a quotation, use you can use this quotation mark, right? Now examples. She said, uh, we can learn. What fun patients right today? Teacher said. Teacher said. Teacher on the keyword comma. Earlier I told you how to use a comma and quotation marks. Today we can learn fun patient marks. Punctuation. Marks. Right. Next. Now that is how you have to use quotation marks. That is very easy. Right. Now let's talk about the last one. That is apostrophe. What is an apostrophe? It's very easy to write. Now you know how to use this apostrophe. Apostrophe. Dan. Dan. Nani. Am. Dan. Tama.
Now, apostrophe can be used in many ways, right? First instance is to show some possession. I feel a kangavanda put apostrophe down the To show some possession. I feel a kangavini. Possession means I feel a kangavini. Now, here, amma ge sariya. Now, mother is there. Sari is there. Amma ina sari tiya. We ne koi baat. Dena the dena the nikale. Now you have to join. I tiya kudano ne. Mother sari. Clear? Tata ge phone nikal. Tha father's phone. And next one. Clear? Like that you can use. Now for singular nouns you have to use apostrophe s. Uh, in plural, how do you use the uh, apostrophe? Mothers, amma, da, gena. Apostrophe after is, is dala. In the pre-passing apostrophe dala, the mind, use the unknown. Mothers, saris. Mothers, sari. And mothers, saris. Right? Now, this is how you can use apostrophe to show a position. First one is for singular nouns you have to use apostrophe yes. And for plural nouns you have to use a pause after is. Right? right? Now next instance that you can use apostrophe is the third one, not the third. Second instance uh, to show contract in contract uh, contraction forms. Contractions. Contraction form. What is contraction form? Contraction means keti karana. Keti karana apati use karana na. Mena me quotation marks. Not a quotation ma. Apostrophe can be used. Right? Uh, contraction. Now example. I will. Now how you, you how do you contract? Uh, shorten this. I will. Now you have to omit W and I. And. You should use L, L, I'll, right? I have, or he has, uh, he has, he is, right? Uh, then they have, they, they, apostrophe W, you have to omit H shape. Right, like that you can use for contraction form also, right? So, uh, we have finished doing uh, the lesson, right? Now, today I have taught you how to use fun question marks. There are a lot of members in the fun, fun question family. Who are they? Who will stop? Uh, question mark, exclamation marks, apostrophe, quotation mark. And then semicolon, colon, right? I hope you have understood the lesson. What should you do is you have to write more examples for these uh, punctuation marks. And also keep that in your mind and use when you are writing, right? Then you can write a curate. Then you will get more marks at the exam, right? So we will meet from another video. Till then, you take care and goodbye.